Good streaming morning. Good morning. Good morning, Goose. Today's the streamings, and I woke up way too early. I couldn't go back to bed. Guess what time it is? Coffee time. Coffee time. Is that right? Yeah, you are right. So now I am back at my house. Obviously, I'm gonna start getting ready. Tana's glam just got here, and I have mine scheduled for an hour from now. And by glam, I mean like just my hair because I don't let anyone else do my makeup because at least like if I look bad, it's like my fault, you know what I mean? Totally forgot to mention, I also have no idea what I'm wearing. So today should be interesting and I also have to leave in like three hours. So let's hurry up and do that. I have to hop in the shower so that I can self tan and then kind of like let that develop for a little bit. And then I'll probably hop out and show you my skincare routine that is like literally gotten rid of all of my acne. I don't have any face makeup on at all. I also don't have any pimples at all. So that's really cool. I obviously just have a little bit of leftover like eyeshadow on from last night and like my eyelashes. But yeah, I'm not wearing like any face makeup at all. Oh, finally share with you guys my skincare secrets that I've been hiding from you for almost a year now. I'm going to hop in the shower and I will see you after. Okay, you guys. So I just showered and made myself look a little bit more presentable so that I could tell you about this next part of the video that is sponsored by Curology. You guys, I have been trying out Curology since April of this year. So I can honestly finally tell you guys that I am so obsessed with it. It was like love at first sight, honestly. If you guys don't know me, then you probably don't know that all of my friends have also used Curology and have sworn by it. So obviously I had to hop on the bandwagon and I have never made a better decision in my entire life. So my skin right now, I'm not wearing any like face makeup. It's just like one even skin tone for the first time in my entire life. And when I tell you that I have not had a breakout at all since I started Curology, I guess swear to God, today I asked my friends cause I was like, hey, I'm filming like my Curology thing today and they were like oh my god yeah I, I totally like didn't even think about you using that I was like yeah when's the last time you saw me with a breakout literally it's been forever usually I had like a pretty good skincare routine before this but I would always get breakouts like once a week or a couple a week and like it was very minimal but I haven't had one <laughs> in so many months like when's the last vlog you saw with me in it that I had acne like I have not facetune patch acne out of my face in so long so I can honestly say that I am absolutely obsessed with Curology. So I'm really happy to say thank you guys at Curology for sponsoring this video. So for me personally, my skin before Curology was very, very oily and it was also very red in like the center of my face. But like in person, I can finally walk out of the house without makeup on. I have had no makeup on for so many months and like so many days in a row. And I feel totally like fine with like walking out of my room or like going to like the grocery store. Whereas before, I would always have to at least put like tinted moisturizer on or like foundation. So yeah, now my complexion is so even. I don't have to patch out pimples on Facetune. <laughs> it's kind of life changing. And I also don't have to wear as much makeup as I did before, which also helps with acne because obviously like the more makeup that you're putting on your face is gonna clog your pores, which is gonna create a never ending cycle of having acne. Whereas now I don't have to put so much makeup on my face because my skin is good. So it's been really, really great. Not gonna lie at all. Like now I understand why all my friends have raved about Curology. But not only Curology, but also my diet. I definitely do not have any dairy in my diet other than like one splash of creamer in my coffee. But other than that, yeah, I don't really eat any dairy. I try not to have meat too often, maybe a couple times a week if I'm feeling like, you know, crazy. Or if I'm like hungover and I'm going to like Taco Bell. <laughs> but other than that, my diet's been really, really good. And diet, exercise, being pretty good about washing my face as much as I can. Well, not as much as I can, but at least twice a day. Coming home and taking off makeup that's a really big one, letting your skin breathe, and Curology. So the one thing that really drew me in with Curology is that it is customized for your skin type and made just for you. Mine literally has my name on it with my prescription on the back. Curology offers custom prescription formulas that are literally made for your skin. So once you go on the website, you're paired with a licensed provider that is there to help you with any questions that you might have about your skin. And then they're gonna prescribe you a formula with prescription ingredients just for your skin. My formula is designed to help me a lot with the oily and unevenness on my face and also help with my blackheads because oh honey my blackheads were terrible and very very huge all you have to do is go on their website take the little skin quiz send in a few selfies really unflattering selfies of your acne and then they analyze your skin history 
ask you what products you were using before, and then they ask you your skin goals so they can make your skin beautiful. So if you guys want to try your first bottle of Curology specifically made for you, you can click the link in the description and you will get your first bottle for free. All you have to pay is shipping and handling, which is $4.95, which is how I got started and I'm absolutely obsessed. So hit the link in the description below if you guys want to try it. I highly recommend if you are struggling with acne. But yeah, with that being said, I am going to wash my face right now with some Curology. Yeah, I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like. When I don't have any makeup on, I just put some of this cleanser in my hands. This is what the cleanser looks like. I just put some of this on my face. I usually just use my bare hands when I don't have any makeup on, but if I do have makeup on from like the night before or whatever, or like any residue, which I haven't really worn makeup in a couple days because I don't need to anymore. If I did have some makeup on or just wanted to really scrub my skin, I would just use my Vanity Planet cleansing brush with this on there. This is a really, really mild cleanser and everyone's skin loves it so far, at least everyone in my house. Okay, so I'm gonna wash this off. It's like sinking into my skin. <laughs> and then just pat it dry with a nice clean towel. And then next, I just take the little moisturizer. This moisturizer, honey, it's so perfect. It doesn't make your skin oily, but it moisturizes it so much. But I also use like four pumps of this. I thought it said somewhere that you were only supposed to use like one or two pumps, but I put this all over my face and on my neck. So I use like four pumps. My skin loves it. And then usually I only use this at night. And if I'm like feeling a breakout come up, which it's been like a while, but um, yeah, I'll just put this on any of my problem areas or if I want to like get specifically like my blackheads and I'll put it on my blackheads if, if I'm feeling like it. But since I'm going out right now, I'm not going to be doing that. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready as fast as I can. But yeah, you guys, that is my updated skin routine. I've been waiting forever to tell you guys this. So many people have been in my DMs asking me like, yo, what's your skincare routine? Your skin looks amazing. And I'm like, thank you, one. And two, I know, it's fucking nutty. I'm really happy that I finally got to talk about this because everyone needs it. Oh my God. Like, best thing I ever decided to do to my skin. Absolutely. But yeah, a lot of you guys have been in my DMs like asking me. And like, I've told a few people here and there, like, I'm not supposed to say anything i'm like waiting to film a video about it but curology and they're like well do you have like a code and i'm like no but now i do and now it's in the description so yeah i'm gonna get ready i'll stop talking i'm gonna go try to make myself look more presentable okay bye okay now that i walked you through that obviously uh not today because i didn't have time to like walk you through the whole process today because i'm kind of in a rush so obviously that part of the video was filmed prior to right now i'm gonna take some of my vitamins so i'm gonna go grab a drink so i can do that one vitamin down, 10 more to go. I usually just like take my vitamins while doing my makeup just cause I have like 10 vitamins to take at a time. Actually, I think I have 11. Well, up to like 14, depending on like my mood. I'm not gonna walk you through that right now cause I just don't have the time. Also, do you love this framing for me? I hear Tana awake, which means I need to hurry up cause if she's ready before me, she's gonna be mad. Also, she is just wearing a fucking sweatsuit today and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but I know it's not gonna be that. Hers is kind of like, justifiable because it's nice as fuck and like designer and shit and like bedazzled i'm also just cleaning my beauty blenders right now i'm honestly like not stressing as much as i normally would if i was going on like a red carpet because like i feel like i've just like done enough red carpets to like realize that it's not that big of a fucking deal for some reason last year i would like panic every time i was gonna go like on a red carpet or like any event ever but recently i've just been kind of like really chill about it because like i think i realized i always freak the fuck out and then like i get there and it's like the chillest thing ever I really don't give a shit what I wear. I just wanna look good. So I'm gonna start my makeup. Oh, fuck, I can't even start my makeup yet. I have to self tan. So, to self tan, oh, I think Loving Tan actually just sent me a package right here. Look at this cute little package. They sent Michael and I some little koala slippers because they are raising money for helping the koalas stay fucking alive after the fucking brush fires. So um, I'm gonna put this link in the description below. You should definitely donate, even if it's like a dollar, every dollar fucking counts, you know? Like it will make a difference. But yeah, I am going to use some of this two hour, ooh, hello. I'm just gonna use some of this two hour express with the little mitt that they got me. So thanks guys. Okay. Okay, so I just tanned myself, which is why I look a little fucking insane right now. But I'm just filming right now because I just realized I'm not going to be able to talk to you guys. Did I leave my fucking suitcase in the Uber? If I left my suitcase in the Uber, that means I left my makeup in the Uber. One sec. I just fucking called my Uber and I was like, hey, I think I left my suitcase in your car. And she's like, uh, yeah, you did. And I was trying to figure out who it was. I'm like, oh my fucking god. I have no idea where this bitch is. And like all of my makeup brushes are in that. So I'm gonna go get Tana's. Guess what I did this morning? What? I left my suitcase with all my makeup brushes in my Uber. 
from Michael's house to here. Holy shit. Mm hmm So now these are my options. All these these are all my dirty options. Holy fuck. Fuck. That um, is so sad. Did yeah. you get in contact with the Uber? Yeah, but she speaks like Russian or something, so it was a little... Do you think you're not going to get them back, or do you think you'll get them back just to take a, a while? Yeah, I think it's going to take a while. That sucks ass. And you left it this morning? Mm-hmm. Terrible timing. And I just called her right now, like, as I, like, need to start getting ready, like, right now. Do you know what you're going to wear? Nope. Tana, guess what I did today? What did you do? It's really bad. Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Wait. I left my makeup brushes in my Uber <laughs> from Michael's house. That's so much money in an Uber too, if you think about it. Like, buying a whole new collection of makeup brushes literally sucks horse cock. Yep. I'm so sorry. So I'm just waiting to see if she'll come here. I'm like, so you can use mine if you'd like. No, literally. I just went shopping downstairs. I love that. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows with like this thing that I've been doing my eyebrows with. Usually I use like an Anastasia Beverly Hills flat eyebrow brush um, with the spoolie on the other end. But that's not a fucking option today. So I'm gonna use Tana Mojo's 203 Elf brush. <sighs> if I have acne after this, I'm gonna be so fucking mad, but at the same time, thank you, Tana, for letting me use your products and being like a sister who lets me steal her makeup. Brushes. <laughs> the Uber called me, and I was like, oh my god, is she here? Like, got all excited. Like, it's been like five minutes, and she's like, I am 40 minutes away. I was like, sick. All right, so I'm gonna hurry up and do my brows. Check back in with me later. <laughs> Guys, look at Amari's little fit. <laughs> he just went shopping in Michael's closet that's in my closet. Head to, head to toe and for what the... <laughs> like, the fact that he can come up with this good-ass outfit out of, like, the little <laughs> things that Michael left over. <laughs> so I totally started my camera up to be like, oh my god, my makeup's almost done. I'm just doing the finishing touches. And then I remembered that I forgot to do my eyeliner because I was getting my hair done and I wasn't gonna have like someone like doing my hair while I was like trying to do eyeliner obviously. So now I'm a little stressed about it because my whole face is like set with powder and I really don't want to like fuck up and have to like use concealer so I have to figure that out. How fun. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go do my wing for 20 minutes and then come back, pick an outfit on, put on some lashes. I feel like we can do this. We're gonna pull it off. It's gonna be a stress-free day. It's gonna be a stress-free life from now on. I'm a new human being. Last night was the last whole moon of the decade. So I set some intentions. I said a lot of things out loud, put them out into the universe, and I am hoping for everything to be going smoothly from now on and just life to be better. And I have high hopes, you know? I woke up today feeling pretty good. I woke up at like nine, like, and I couldn't go back to bed, so I ordered coffee at like 9 a.m. Obviously, as you guys saw, so yeah, I'm gonna go do my eyeliner and it's gonna come out perfect. Fingers crossed. God damn it. Like, do you see the issue that I'm having? This eyeliner is going up. This eyeliner is going straight. I like this one more. I think we're gonna switch to this one. I thought I could do it. Okay, so our first option is this little like two-piece set that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I don't love the idea of wearing this, especially on a fucking carpet. Like I would wear this literally to the grocery store because I'm weird like that. Also, I'm like super bloated right now and I don't know how it's gonna fit and if it's gonna fit. So I guess I'm gonna try this on and we'll see how this looks. <sighs> okay, so we got it on and by we I mean me Amari and Brittany got this on um It's a little tight and a little loose. That's pretty much my whole entire fucking life the top I got in a four which is like in a small usually I would get like extra small But like I've learned that my implants are too big to be an extra small these days. So <laughs> I got a small and I think me and my implants are a little too big for this top. Like it's literally like squeezing the back fat that I didn't even know that I had out of the top. So I kind of don't know what to do about it. And then the bottoms, the bottoms are like baggy just right here. Like I don't know if it was like made to like have a dick right here or something, but I don't have a dick. Or maybe it was like I was supposed to have like a fat ass to fill it out. I don't even know. <laughs> But I think I'm just gonna wear it because like where the fuck else am I gonna wear it? I just gotta be really cautious of my rolls in the back. Like what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see what people think. I'm not even focused. Doesn't even want to focus on me anymore. Okay, so the outfit problem is solved. Um, now our next problem is, well, for one, shoes. For two, my fucking baby hair is hello. Like, no one invited you to the streamies. Get out of here. And then the next problem is that fucking toenail. Like, what? So I don't think I want closed-toed heels. What do you think? I just wear fucking black and white snake skin. Like, no. Oh, I could wear clear or black. Black fuzzy would be so much fun, but I don't think that really goes. I feel like that's kind of fucking weird. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Is that? Is it? I don't know. I'm gonna ask Isabella. Oh my god. 
Hey guys! Oh God, hey. Ashley! Anyway. Ashley's knockers has entered the chat and she's got some shit to say. Wait, I want, I want to see what she says. What? The glam. Oh! Good, huh? Yeah, I think so. I don't see a problem so far. Natalie, what did you just say? I literally thought you were someone else with your hair. I thought Brooke was over or something. No fucking way. No one like recognizes me with my like straight blonde hair. Like I've been like curling it and like I asked Michael the other day, I was like, Babe, should I wear it like straight or like curly today? He's like, well, I don't like it curly. <laughs> so you should wear it straight. And I've like, I've been wearing my hair curly for like, I don't know, my whole relationship with him. So it's probably good to know that he didn't like me the whole time. I'm also thinking, what do we think? Baby pink shoes are hollow. The hollow kind of look cool from far away, but also like I'm already wearing like a pretty little thing fucking two-piece like hollow shoes really hmm I feel like baby pink baby pink baby pink or hollow Amari Baby pink, the baby, pink. baby pink for sure, right? Yes. Kind of really good. Okay Baby pink <laughs> You have such big boobs now <laughs> big boobs big boobs Ooh. Big boobs. <laughs> That's what wow. I needed. Uh, Ayo, big boobs. Check. <laughs> big boobs. <laughs> Check. Funny. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to like one hold this bag and two not have my little fat rolls hanging out. I wish red carpets had mirrors in front of them. Like if they did, I would just be like so good. I'd just be like. Okay, bye. Okay, ladies, here we have the full outfit. I have the little Kylie lip kit in bear on my lips with her clear lip gloss. Tana's little pink earrings that I found in her room. And then obviously this little two-piece set from Pretty Little Thing. And then I have this cute little bag that matches the shoes and the earrings, which is from my mom. I literally have had this since I was like born and it's just always kind of been in my closet. And um, this is like my first time actually using it. So that's fun. And then the shoes, they are the these little Versace heels that are Tana's. Thanks, Tina. Okay. All that being said, I think I am ready to drink some champagne and get the fuck out of here and start vlogging on my phone. Let's go. Good Suburban idea. check. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's hey, right. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Actually, don't disagree with that. I really don't like her style. Hi! I'm gonna say oh, this so hard. The lighting is in four months Ooh. from now. Oh, yeah. in four months from now. Literally me uploading my VMAs vlog eight months late this week. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, 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 Ooh, well friends. Okay, bye. <laughs> Jenna, I love you. Me, like, oh, Jenna, last sip. Oh fuck, okay, bottoms Dinner up, shirt. bitches, bottoms up. Ashley? <laughs> I would love to be. I'm about to be on the carpet like, yeah, I'm just so good. Thank you so much for my arm. Boyfriend check! Michael's here. Hey yo, Ashley and Michael check. People keep coming up to us and like asking for photos and Amari keeps making the joke like, oh my god, Ashley and Michael. Because I'm head to toe in Michael's clothing right now. We are in a table full of people that have lived in the same house. Oh wow, I didn't even think about that. We got Wait, O2L what? over here. We got us over here. We yeah, have the TV no filter over here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people here that are too good. Oh, is it true? Come on. I feel uncomfy. That's how I feel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the point in the awards show where we get a little bored. We're we? a little too sober. Amari, oh, yeah, I'll talk about it. Don't talk over me, sir. Um, Amari had the bright idea that we needed to finish these right now. Yeah. And mine's a lot more full than his. Not that much. I'll still race you, though. Okay, ready? Wait. Think. Think them and sing them. I ain't never been a bitch. Neither have I. That's why I only finished one second later. <laughs> Put two more shots in mine. <laughs> Big boobs. Big Today's video is called to my doctor. Goodbye. <laughs>
Lily Singh. Lauren Gray. Mr. Beast. Ninja. Sophia Nygaard. Simply Neurological. And Tana Marshall. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see it. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but it is not, it is not David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, David, but you won like every award tonight. It's only fair. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so weird. <laughs> 